there was a little hiccup in my plan for this video. Uh, I originally planned on going shopping, vlogging it, you know, the whole nine yards, going in detail, but with all the COVID restrictions, it was really hectic in there. Like we had to stay in our own little section, I had to wear a mask. I could only take it off to really look at the dress and that's when no one was around me. It was this really big deal. <laughs> COVID sucks. So I didn't get to vlog the way I wanted to, but I was able to get videos of the dresses and I wanted to basically walk you guys through it and show you guys my dresses. Uh, obviously I cannot show the dress that I ended up with. Um, it was worth basically my entire life saving savings. Uh, but I can't show you because my fiance watches these videos. Love you, babe. I wanted to show you the ones that I was looking at, the ones I tried on the most. There was one, and I'll go into detail about it. There was one that I was honestly about to choose, and then I tried on my dress, and I was like, nope, done. Got it. It was my dream dress. So the first one, I like to call the Cinderella dress. Uh, it was huge, and you can't really tell much in the video, but literally when I went to go change out of the dress, I literally took it off, and it dropped on the ground and literally the tool and the skirt part went up the walls of the dressing room. Like I honestly was stepping on the dress to get out of the dress. It was the most material I have ever seen in my entire life. I felt like Cinderella. Like I literally felt like my fairy godmother was about to come take me away. It was this huge dress. I loved it so much. The details were immaculate. Oh my gosh. I loved the details. They were so pretty. I honestly was just about to buy the dress just because I felt like a princess, but I didn't look at the price tag because I don't even want to know how much it was. It had to be at least three grand. It was huge. The second dress was a lot like the A-line, but you can't really tell from the video, but the top was actually a bodysuit and the part that's like, uh, I'll draw it on here, but basically the part that was like the for my boobs. <laughs> it was a that was part of the dress the top that goes down my arms was a bodysuit which i didn't like that at all it was a little uncomfortable to put on um and it would have been a lot more tailoring to do because the bodysuit didn't fit me and the dress didn't fit me so it would have been a lot of tailoring once again that was an a-line dress so it had so much material it was so hard to walk in it but i felt like a, i just felt like cinderella it was so freaking pretty it was so pretty there were so the details on that dress were insane like once again i did look at the price tag because i didn't want to know how much it was because it would have been in oh my god it would have been crazy so the third one i honestly looking back at the pictures and the videos now i don't like it at all i thought at first um basically when i went in that i told the stylist i was like you know i just want to try everything because i don't know what i want i don't know what i like so basically the stylist put me in and she kind of picked out everything that I kind of said. I just, all I said was I wanted sleeves. So she picked out everything with sleeves. Um, and I tried this on and the chiffon dress just was not my style at all. It was a little too chic. Um, <clears throat> but this dress, the top was really pretty. I really did like the top of it, but the dress itself looked cheap and it was not a cheap dress at all. Okay, so the fourth dress. What can I say about this dress? This is the dress that I, this is the first one I put on actually. It was the first one I put on. And when I walked out and got on the like pedestal and had like my maid of honor and my mom look at it, we were both like, this is it, That that's beautiful. We want that one, we like that one. Like we were, we were honestly going to buy this dress. Um, I loved the lace, I loved the way it looked, um, but we decided to keep trying so this dress actually was on sale and it was on sale for 972 dollars god that's a lot of money the reason we didn't get it because it was on sale um was it was discontinued so we'd have to order a new one or we could buy that one that was on the rack for sale um the problem with it it was missing buttons it needed um definitely needed to be taken up because it did not fit me at all it was too big um so it would have had to been tailored a good bit and it had some of the lace that was messed up that would have to be fixed as well. So by the time you added up the alterations, it was going to be more than it would be to buy it new. So we would have had to buy it new. Well, buying it new was like $1,200 and we were like, okay, well we can do that. Um, and we put it in the dressing room for as a favorite. Like I was going to buy this dress. I loved the beadwork. I loved the lace. It was just, just it was everything I had dreamed of basically um I didn't there was a little bit in the, the top I didn't like as much 
which is why I didn't end up with it. And because I got to, I think it was the fifth dress I tried on, maybe, um, that the stylist had put in my room. It was the dress I ended up buying. When I get married, I could finally show it, but I can't show it right now. But it is everything I wanted in a dress. We're not telling my dad how much we spent on a dress because it is an insane amount. And he thought the dress, this is my dad. He went in with us for just a few minutes and the, the, the stylist asked what our budget was and mom was like, I don't really know yet. We're just gonna look around and see and then we'll figure it out. Um, so the stylist was like, oh yeah, you know, like we have dresses ranging from 800 to 3000 and dad was like, I thought it was like $250 for a wedding dress. My dad just, yeah. So he had to leave because he was about to have an aneurysm. So one cool thing I thought about this shop, which I think everybody kind of gives goodie bags when you get a dress from them. Uh, but basically they gave me this shirt, which says bride and it's from the people who basically like sponsor them or work with them on a partnership. Um, they also gave me a hundred dollar gift card to this place, which is a jewelry company, but they're also very expensive. So a hundred dollars is like 10% off. Um, but still that's cool. Um, they, this is really cool too. It's a nail polish. Let me, so it's nail polish. You can't really see the color, but it's a little darker than my nails. So it's like an off white, which matches my dress perfectly. But it is from a company named Native, which is a company in New Orleans, which is obviously, I, I'm from New Orleans, so it's there. Um, but it is their own personalized color. They do not sell it to anybody else. So that's kind of cool. But this will be my color on my wedding day because I really love this color. They gave me jewelry cleaner which I'm gonna need because I was worrying about my ring because I was like, what's gonna happen when it gets dirty? I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm scared to death. Um, and the last thing they gave me were these little eye patches. Eye patches, I'm a pirate now, but they're gold. Um, they are crystal collagen gold powder eye mask. And now that I'm reading it, I'm kind of worried because I'm allergic to silver. So I don't know if I'm allergic to gold as well. Yeah, if you wanna see more wedding videos, please let me know because I'm probably gonna make a lot more because this is really stressful and I've gotta vent to someone because it's just a lot I would like to show you guys, like how I'm planning it, where I'm going, um, stuff like that. But uh, <laughs> I will see you guys later on this week because now I am posting all the time. So yeah, if I didn't bore you too much, make sure to check out my other videos.